Okay, so we're here once again in Sword Factory X, and today I thought I'd discuss with you guys the importance of the enchants in the game. Now, obviously, there's new enchants in this version of the game in Sword Factory X, and that basically comes in the speed, swiftness, and greed, as well as the one below that, which is the sus one. I'm not really too sure if sus has even been gotten on a sword yet in the actual game. However, obviously, um, beforehand we only had the three in chance of sharpness, resistance and power which obviously give more damage, more health and obviously more damage and health. And then obviously we've gotten the other uh, the other four, um, one of them being increasing speed, one of them being increasing jump power and one of them being increasing greed um, or which is basically the value and worth of the sword and then the source which I'm not exactly too sure what it does. However, what I basically want to go over is how are these enchants are actually super super important depending on what swords you actually have so obviously when it comes to a damage sword realistically you're going to want to have power on it so you can get more health and more uh, damage but you're also going to want sharpness on it as well so then you can get a lot more damage and maybe resistance just for the more health or maybe more speed so then you can actually just get around quicker and basically what i'm going to show you today is how important and how strong these enchants can actually be so as you can see here right now, this is my current damage sword. It's hyper, it's got invincible on it, and it's got on all of these different enchants. It's got sharpness and power, so it's getting the most amount of damage out of it. Obviously, it's got it up to level like 20, I think that's 27 on every single enchant. It's also got swiftness on it. Now, swiftness, I would say, is probably one of the worst uh, enchants in the game, just because it is jump, um, which really isn't that important whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it does have basically the two damage uh, enchants on it. And here right now, I actually have a higher level sword. Usually, the higher the level, the better the damage it does. However, right now, as you can see, this is a 362 godly sword. Obviously, it's limitless, which means it is one level below. However, this one also does have sharpness on it. However, it does not have power on it. And also, sharpness is a little bit lower. But basically, if we just go ahead and pick both of these swords up real quick and look down below... My damage sword right now is doing 177 billion, which is obviously quite a lot. However, you'd expect for a godly sword that is two levels higher, it would be doing something similar, at least like 100 billion. However, it's only doing 44 billion damage, which really is not a lot whatsoever, considering the fact that it is obviously a higher, um, it's a higher rarity. It is one less lower on the class but however one thing i do also want to show if we go ahead and pick this sword up once again and just quickly come down to the spawn and look at the boards as you can see if we do look at class real quick for limitless it is 90 uh, 90 times power and invincible is 125 times power which obviously is quite a big gap however if we go ahead and scroll down here real quick um, and look at hyper hyper right now gives 334 times power which is quite a lot However, then the gap between that to then a godly is 490 times, which is a much bigger gap between this than it is the class, which means realistically the godly sword is actually doing more power just based on the fact that it is a higher rarity, which is actually insane. So once again, realistically, if this sword here right now had invincible on it, obviously, and it also had the power enchant on it, it would actually be doing way more damage than it is right now. And that is basically one way you can see how just important the enchants are. And one other thing that I do actually want to mention is basically what enchant you're going to want on all the different types of swords. So obviously, when it comes to your damage sword, you're basically going to need sharpness and power. I don't really think it's up for debate. And then the other one, I don't really think it matters because by the time you are using a damage sword, you'll most likely have enough health anyway. So realistically, resistance at that point becomes kind of useless. Obviously, again, swiftness, jump power isn't really that good. So realistically, what I would say, obviously, other than source, I'm really not sure what the enchant does for source. So if you guys do know what source does, let me know down below. But realistically, what I would say for your damage sword is you're also going to want to have speed next to your sharpness and power, just so that you can kind of get around the map a little bit quicker. And again, it's really not that important, to be honest. And obviously then, when it comes to your quad spawns and your important spawns, when you're getting bosses like hyper, uh, well, hyper bosses and above, even like your uniques, your supremes, your exotics and stuff like that, you're gonna always want to have greed on it because these swords will not be your damage sword, obviously nowhere near because the level would be too low. However, obviously with having greed on it, 
basically you're going to make a really really nice value sword i always hope for greed when i have when i'm killing like a unique boss or something or when i'm coming through and i'm killing something like an exotic boss i'm always hoping that it's going to drop something like greed because then it's going to be a lot more valuable and basically whenever you kill a boss it's not going to be a damage sword whatsoever it's always 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 going to be a value sword so that way you're going to want greed on it as well so yeah that is basically why the enchants are actually way more important in this game than you actually thought and another thing that i do want to show off here is as you can see right now we do have these two swords here obviously one of these is diamonds and the other one is extraordinary um, which basically means they are pretty valuable swords and as you can see one of them actually doesn't have greed on it one of them actually has some pretty decent damage sword stats on it for sharpness and resistance and also speed but this one up here the diamond sword does have greed on it which actually makes this one the better value sword over time. Obviously, I'm going to need to go ahead and kind of level it up, um, get a better rarity on it stuff. But if basically those two were more or less the exact same, I would say the one with greed and it does have a little bit more just because you're going to get more value out of it. But yeah, right there is more or less the reason why enchants are way more important than you actually thought. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.